Hey, welcome to Dow Stock Talk, where I talk about topics relating to finance and investing, but more specifically, the stock market. In this video, I'll be talking about Songvest. In this video, I'll be talking about Songvest. Now, I did a video like this before. I did a video of why I didn't like Songvest. It was mainly for one particular thing, but it looks like they fixed this issue. And like I said, I will give you an updated video. But anyway, in general, wait, before we get started, make sure you smash the like button because it helps YouTube algorithm. It helps YouTube know that this is a quality content to help my videos reach a broader audience. And also, if you're a big fan of finance and investing, make sure you check out my store, Wall Street Stock Apparel, where I make custom finance and investing t-shirts. Now, like I said, I made a video about Songvest before it says why I didn't like Songvest. The main reason why is because once, matter of fact, let's rewind that back. Okay, so a lot of you may not be familiar with Songvest is, but Songvest in a nutshell gives you the ability to buy music royalties. Like pretty much in general, Songvest allows fans and investors to have the rights to music royalties. So whenever someone downloads the music or listens to the music, the artists normally receive money from royalty because they own it. Well, with Songshare, they allow you to buy Songshares, which gives you fractional ownership of the song. So as the artist's songs get more downloads, live streams, ads, and stuff like that, they will get revenue. And what, what happened is if their song is on Songvest, they break it down into Songshares. And each share would be end up getting a royalty. So you would get royalties based on the amount of units or shares that you particularly had. Now, I did a video on this before that may have been a little bit more in depth about how it works, but it was like, why didn't I like it? The main reason why was because once you end up buying the song, they didn't give you any information to track, you know, your investments, your money, and stuff like that. But I must say, guys, that has officially changed and now what I'm doing is I'm updating you so you'll know the updates of the chain. I fixed it. They fixed the dashboard so now that you can see all the information as far as how much royalties you'll receive quarter by quarter. They added the user dashboard and it is now functional. Uh, let's go to the about page and by the way you'll end up seeing the person I end up talking with and by the way they were I had a conference call with Brian today. It was for about 30 minutes. He really was trying to get the feedback. The dashboard user interface is something they just put together and they're still currently working on it. So they're getting people's feedback. So I was one of the people that they reached out to to get my feedback. You've probably seen the video. And he definitely said, even though, you know, the video may not have been the best uh, as far as what I actually said, but he said that the the input I gave them was very beneficial. But anyway, Songvest, like I said, is the first music marketplace that offers fans and investors the ability to purchase song shares from their favorite artists. Now, as you go to the scroll down to the team, the one I end up talking to, his name was Brian. So he's the product manager. So I end up talking to him and about my concerns from the video. If you wanted to see why I don't like uh, Songvest video, just check the suggested videos. But I'm definitely going to do an update, which my stance on my main problem, why I didn't like it, is actually fixed. So let's, no further ado, jump into it. Okay, already signed it. And by the way, I'll provide the uh, song that's link and all that below. So once you sign in, this is my account. Now the song, if we will go to my invoice, let's go to past invoice. Yeah, so when you go to past invoice, this was it, the song that I particularly end up having. It was Hit the Quan. I only bought, they break it into units. So I only personally bought um, one unit. So it was $16 per unit. So I bought one particular unit. Now, with the way things are going forward, I believe the pricing structure that they issue may have changed a little bit. But don't worry, I'll go into more detail if needed on that as well. So let's click on there. And this was just kind of the purchase that I've shown that I purchased. It was a while back, 10, 14, 2021. So before, this was the only thing that I ended up, actually for the song share part, I actually don't even think anything showed up here. 
but now it actually does so they fixed that so that part is good to go and let's click on it now once we click on it remember the music royalties they show the revenue from the purse from the 12 months and remember you're buying a unit so it's a fraction. So this is how much money that this is what you want to pay attention to based off of the amount of units. So I bought one unit. So in the past 12 months, if the revenue was the same from the last 12 months, at the end of the year, I would end up getting $1.98. And that's for each particular year. So if it goes up the next year, I would get more. If it goes down, I would get less. But that's how you would end up looking at it. And to know the yield, I kind of did on the other video but you would just take the amount of income over your initial investment. So two divided by 16, that's one over eight. Let's see what one over eight, I believe one over eight, I believe that's 12.5% yield. Let me check that, hopefully that, yeah, it's about 12.5% yield. I did in the other one, but I think for his royalty, I think it could range from five to 25. But just know that newer artists, I'm trying not to get into too much details, but just know that newer artists a lot of times the songs will over time they'll slowly kind of decline but we will have to see but anyway that's enough of that talking let's go to my investments i'm um, sorry not my investments dashboard so we're going to dashboard so the main concern about the other one is that i didn't have any way where they could particularly track it so this was my total investment um, from the previous quarter they sent me two dollars and seventy four cent I did confirm that I definitely did see percent. I actually did see this. So what will happen is whatever bank account you attach to the song fest, that's where they will send you send you the money. And I can verify that they didn't send this to me. Now this is what they just they said they just kind of started. Hold on, let's see, hit the quan. Yeah. So they just particularly started. He I end up telling him and expressed that oh they should do a line thing, uh, like a line chart, and they said they will. That's just the first part. And they said they're going to perfect it, but at this time, this is what they have, and they're in the process of, you know, just making um, adjustments so it can be great for the user. So any type of feedback that you guys would like as far as investment or a fan, just let me know in the comments. Um, he told me to reach out to him at any time if I had, like, any things that any users would like to see as far as information. But from what I can see so far, this is what I can see as far as the basics of an investor, what I like to see. Like I said, I'll definitely keep you guys updated because like I said, this was only the first quarter. They'll pay you out each quarter so you can guys can kind of uh, end up seeing how this whole thing works overall. But I will say that I'm very happy that they were able to um, put from an investor perspective the bread and butter the total amount of i like how they have total amount invested they had the previous quarter royalties received and the total royalties received as well i think these are very um key also i talked to them about as far as the feedback and stuff like that um any type of additional information you can have on the artists of their previous songs or the previous um, numbers and stuff like that, if they have links or something, that would be greatly appreciated from an investor perspective. I also wanted to mention that um, I would look at this more as fans first. When As I was talking to Brian, I would definitely, it's from my impression of the interaction, it's more so fans based first and then investing. So it's more like, okay, I like the artist. I like the artist. I want to support them. But why not also own some of the uh, rights to that of song of my favorite artist and make some money from that? So I think that's the approach that you should have it. So I would have it fans first and then invest in second. Now, I will end up saying is, I'll probably, like I said, I'll definitely probably get another song. I've seen one for when I go to, actually, let me go to the top and let's see the live. Um, with the live one, I really don't like they the last one is when they're kind of trying to set a price where everyone else should buy it for. So it can be a little bit complicated, but um, the live one, they're just trying to find a place, a uh, amount where that they should issue the song shares per unit price. 
So right now, this is just the total amount of revenue that was made. And then this would be the royalties paid per unit. Yeah. So uh, I just, like I said, this is you're just placing a bed. So the bed is $250 for one unit, $250. And the simulated royalties from the last 12 months based off of that would be $28.11. So if you wanted to see this, like I said, I normally wait to it's officially um, not the VIP, but wait to it actually say on sale now. But if we wanted to know that yield, that would be $28. Let's see if the yield is $28 divided by $250. See what that would be. So let's look times 100. So that's probably about 11% yield. That's actually not that bad. I think the range was from like 5 to 25. It actually depends on how the artists do and stuff like that. And uh, as you can see, not a lot of uh, track record. So um, songs that normally don't have that much of a track record, there's only so much you can go off of. But like I said, this was your favorite artist or something like that. You know, why not? But like I said, from an investor perspective, there's probably several other information you would like to know about the artist simply because this is song is not really that whole, oh, you don't have much to go off of and stuff like that. But yeah, so like I said, this is like the auction one where you, they're just trying to pretty much find a price. And then once they find a price, then it will, you can go to on sale now. Um, but yeah. And by the way, so it'll be like upcoming sales. This is with the songs that they'll have that's upcoming. I definitely, this first Push and P, I love this song. And off, as long as this song is in my range, and it's like like the 250 or something like that, I would definitely um, um, use, because I really love this song. I really love this song. And to say I have rights to this song, it's all about bragging things to me. So I'm definitely going to do that. So let me, let me, hopefully I think I add it to, uh, favorites when you click that that's going to add it to your watch list and p definitely will add that particular song um and definitely give you guys an update and also if you guys wanted to see um, if you have your own song or you wanted to issue royalty shares um to other people where you can raise more money and they can get some rights to your songs they have the steps and procedures i just wanted to kind of show you guys their request a free evaluation email types of royalties and stuff like that um in general but let me click uh, yeah let me click that so i believe that is all i have so far to go to show you guys let's look at my investments and making sure so i went over that I um, did hit the quant. If you guys have like any um, things that you input that you would like to say or questions, just let me know in the comments below and I'll be sure to answer them. And also, if you guys have any suggestions to make the platform better, make sure you drop it in the comments below because they're really like looking for feedback. Yeah, so I believe that is everything. I'll keep you guys updated. Uh, when I'll get my next uh, royalty payment, I'll definitely keep you guys updated. And also, I provided the link if you guys want to check out um, SongVest. And as far as when I get the Pusher P, um, that one, I'm hoping I can get that for at least. I'll probably just get one unit for 250 because um, I'm not trying to go on. But like I said, this music royalties for me, newer platform. I'm still kind of new. But I definitely wanted to get that pusher P. Hopefully that I can get as far I can get that one unit for I believe it was two fifty, I believe. Let's let's check that out. Well I was hoping that I could get the um the pusher P for uh two fifty unit or something. Yeah, I was hoping if I can get that price, I'll do that one simply because I really like that particular song and just, just to say that I own uh a fractional ownership for the music royalties of that would just be dope because I listen to that song all the time. I have investor playlists on that joint, and Pusha P definitely will be on it. Future Gunner, all the way. Um, but yeah, uh, that's pretty much um, it. If there's anything that you would like to know, any questions, um, feel free to let me know. If you 
haven't already, make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you subscribe to my channel.